Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with Jaeger Film. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add some subtitles to a 360 video. We're going to go over a couple different methods. The first method I'm going to show you is how we can do this with the native tools built into Premiere Pro. And then I'm going to show you an alternative method. It's a little bit quicker, and that's using the Mantra VR graphics effect. That's a third-party plugin from Metal. I'll have a link in the description of this video if you want to know more about those effects. But I'll kind of show you the in and outs and how to use both of these here really quickly. So, so let's take a look kind of at my approach to adding subtitles to a 360 video. You can see I've got some 360 footage here in a sequence. And what I actually do with subtitles is I've got another composition here, sequence. I'm going to click on and This is just my subtitles sequence. This is where I would add in my text using the text tool here in Premiere Pro. And it's important to note that this composition here is just a 1920 by 1080, just a typical HD composition. And then I've went ahead and I've added in these different text areas here. And again, I just did that using the text tool. You just click it and you can click and you can create some text here. I'll just go ahead and show you kind of what's going on with that. So I could just type in any text I wanted to right here on the screen. You can see it created a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But you can see I've got four different layers here. Just kind of laid out and I'll just scroll through here. You can see that there's the subtitles I want to add into my 360 video. And you can see I can see the time codes here. So this is a nice way I can time it out and again do all this in Premiere. And it's important to note the layout of where I put the subtitles kind of on the lower half of this footage. And that'll come back into play here in just a little bit. So let's go back over to our 360 footage and I'm going to drag in my subtitle sequence. And I'm just going to place it above my footage. And there we can see the subtitles on the screen. And I can scroll through here and we can see they're changing. However, if we come over here and we toggle the VR display and we view this in 360, you're going to see our subtitles are being skewed so they don't look correct. So we're going to go ahead and fix this. And this is just, again, this is a toggle VR display where we can kind of see our footage in 360. If you don't know where to get to that at, just come over here and click on this plus icon. And there's a little uh, toggle VR video icon. Just drag it over to your toolbar and then click OK. So what we need to do here is we need to uh, toggle the VR effects. So I'm going to come over to the effects controls and I'm just going to type in VR. And if we scroll down here in the immersive video effects, you're going to see an effect called VR plane to sphere. And because our footage right here is on a flat plane, we want to make it spherical. I'm going to select that plane to sphere effect and apply that to my subtitles. And you're going to see it's going to kind of adjust them a little bit. And if we come over to the effects controls, we can go ahead and increase the scale. And you're going to see those are going to get a little bit larger. And if we go back into the VR display, I can now look around my 360 video and there are the subtitles. And they look correct. If I want to move them back a little bit, I can go ahead and scale them back just a touch here. But now if I go ahead and scroll through the video, you're going to see the subtitles are going to change and they're going to update, you know, again with that subtitle sequence. Now the reason it's important to have them kind of on the lower half of the video, if I go back into the subtitle sequence here, I'm just going to select these first subtitles and I'll select that and I'll just move it up in the middle. If we go back to our 360 video, you can see it's going to place them right in the center. And if we're looking at this, this is going to cover up kind of the action. So we don't really want that. So you want to have it on the lower half of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that. But again, that's why I place them kind of on this lower half portion of my HD comp. And I'll go ahead and toggle on the safe area so you can kind of see just where that's located at. So let's go back to the 360 footage and make into the 360 view. Now we're basically done adding just subtitles on the front. If that's all we want to a 360 video, you can see the subtitles are in there and those look correct. And you would kind of have these in front of whatever action you wanted to have them in front of. But a lot of times on 360 videos with subtitles, They'll have like four different versions kind of located all around the video just in case the viewer is not typically looking right in the front area. And the way you would do that using the plane to sphere effect just with the native tools, we would actually have to duplicate our subtitles. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control C and then I'm just going to paste them out here and I'll move them above the other subtitles and I'll click on them. And then under those effects controls, I'm going to come down here to the rotate projection and I can actually rotate this. You can see, now it's set that to be around 90 degrees. So now we can see we've got another uh, version of those subtitles. I can go ahead and scroll through here and see how it changes. But again, you could adjust the scale of those and uh, get those to look kind of the right size that you want. Now the unfortunate thing is when we're dealing with this on so many different layers, we have to rotate each one and place them and then kind of rescale them all individually. And that can kind of get tedious. But again, it can be done using the native tools. However, we can use the Mantra VR graphics effect for our subtitles uh, and it's a lot faster to get kind of this four subtitle layout. So let's go ahead and I'm going to delete that second version of my subtitles. I'm going to go ahead and delete the VR plane to sphere effect on my subtitles. So now we're just dealing with our native footage and I'm going to scroll down here with VR typed in on the effects. We're going to see 
I've got the Mantra VR effects installed and I'm gonna select the Mantra VR graphics effect. All right, so one thing that's important to note with the Mantra VR graphics effects, we're actually gonna apply it directly to our 360 footage. We're not gonna actually apply it directly to the subtitles like we did with the VR plane to sphere effects. So I'll just go ahead and show you this. So I'm gonna select Mantra VR graphics. I'm gonna apply it directly to my 360 footage. And then if we go up here to the effects controls on that layer, you're gonna see the Mantra VR graphics effect. And we have this option for a projected layer. Now, depending on how many video tracks you have, you can see I have three different tracks and my subtitles are on track two. When I come down here to the projected layer options, you're gonna see we have each of those three video tracks. If you have more, they'll show up. But since my subtitles are on track two, I'm gonna go ahead and select video two. And when I select that, you're gonna see we have two different versions of the subtitles that are now being projected on our 360 footage. We have one of them back there in the back. That's the, uh, the correct one there. But what we need to do is we need to select the subtitles layer. I've actually come over here and if I turn off the visibility, you're gonna see it's gonna make both copies disappear. So I don't wanna do that. What I actually want to do is select subtitles and come here to opacity. I'm going to lower the opacity on that layer to zero. So you'll see now that's disappeared. If we go back into the toggle VR display, we're going to see those subtitles are now being projected correctly. But again, right now we've only got one copy. If we do want to adjust the scaling, I'm going to come back down here into my 360 footage under the VR graphics effect. We can go ahead and adjust the scale in degrees. And you can see that's how you would resize it using the graphics effect. But let's say I wanted to have four different versions of the subtitles kind of appearing all around the 360 video. So no matter where someone's looking, they're gonna be able to see the subtitles. And again, there's a very quick and easy way we can do that using the graphics effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and toggle back to the original 360 footage so we can see this a little easier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to distribution. And then if we go ahead and toggle that down, we're gonna have a distribution type. And what we wanna select is circle. And we're gonna go ahead and type in the number of instances here to be four. And it's going to give us four different versions of the subtitles, but immediately you're going to see they're not all lined up correctly. So what we need to do is come back up here to the point of interest. And on this second value, I'm just going to type in zero. And that's going to go ahead and align them all up. So now let's go back into our VR display. And if we look around the footage now, we have four different versions of the subtitles now that have been very quickly set up. And we can actually adjust the scaling and size of all of them at one time using the scale option on the VR graphics effect. So it's fairly convenient there especially when you want to fine tune things on your 360 footage. All right guys, hopefully you picked up a few tips from this tutorial on how to add subtitles to your 360 footage, whether it's with the native effects or using the Mantra VR graphics effect from Metal. Again, I'll have a link for that in the description of this video. This has been Charles Jaeger for Jaeger Film. Thanks for watching.